All right, welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and assemble this last part here, which is the track, okay, with the following dimensions. Okay, so once again, let's come on in here to Autodesk, start a new standard part, start a 2D sketch. First thing we want to do is let's go ahead and just get a two-point rectangle and drag out a rectangle here with the dimensions of 3.4 by one inch inner. Okay, let's zoom in. Hit escape here. All right, so now we want to go ahead and put in the rectangle right here. I'm just going to kind of draw them for now. And we'll dimension them now. So uh, let's see here. And it's going to be 0 0.1875. Let me do this one. Whoop. Um, let's see. Um, 0.4 from this edge. And then, let's see here, 0.75 from that edge. Okay, same thing over here, 0.75. Okay, now let's just trim that top piece here. Okay, let's go ahead and finish our sketch. We're going to extrude it, okay, a distance of 12 inches, okay? So there's our overall piece of our track. All right, now let's click on this face here. Start a 2D sketch. I'm going to move it over, okay? And then I'm going to draw a circle kind of over here, and it's going to have a radius of 0.7, which means it must have a diameter of 0.75, Okay, of 1.5 inches. All right. And then let's see here. It is one inch, the center of our circle, from that edge. Okay. And from here to here, it's 1.7. All right, and now it's constrained. Now what we want to do is grab our two-point rectangle. Okay, and I'm just going to draw out a rectangle from that center so it's aligned here. And it has a 0.6, let's see here, 0.65 dimension on it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit escape. I'm going to go ahead and trim a bunch of stuff up. Actually, I'm going to delete, trim this, this. Okay, and I'm just going to add one more dimension so we're fully constrained here. Let's see. Okay, and then so let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Now we're going to extrude that through. We're going to cut the other way. All. Okay, and then we just got to apply two small fillets with a radius of 0.19 right here and right here. Apply, cancel. All right, so now we want to create the other circle. Start a 2D sketch. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here and 
I'm going to kind of draw it out right up here. And this one's a little smaller. Okay, it has a diameter of 0.6. Or excuse me, um, point. Where is it? Oh, one point four, not one point five. Okay, now let's dimension it from the center to this edge. It is one inch, and then from the center. From this point to that edge, it's 1.7. All right. Now, once again, we're going to use our two-point center rectangle here, and I'm just going to find that center of that circle so it's lined up evenly, and I'm just going to drag out a, a square here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and dimension it. The thickness on this one is a little smaller, so we get a clearance fit of 0.6. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and trim up some stuff here. Okay, I'm just going to throw a few more dimensions on here. Okay, and let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Let's extrude it. We want to go distance to all. We're going to go the other way. Well, oops, I forgot to click the face. And I forgot to trim that little piece, but that's okay. We can click both those faces, and we want to go the other way. Okay, and we just want to do all. Oh, I'm sorry. Two next. All right, and then, whoops, did I make it too long? Let me go and edit that. Okay, and we just got to add those little small fillets right here of 0.19. Okay, and there you go. There is our train track all finished. Thanks for watching.